Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your girl Abby. In today's video, I will be giving you a brief overview on how to use the Notion app on your phone. Now, if you're new to my channel or returning and have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that button, subscribe, stick around. I am a business systems coach and on this channel, I'll be sharing with you some of my best productivity tips, how to use the Notion app, and also how to build systems in your business. So stick around. Now, one thing I noticed as I was creating a recent video I did where I went over some of the newest features that Notion has released is that I use Notion a lot on my phone and also on my iPad. But a lot of the tutorials I've been doing or a lot of things I've been showing you has been showing Notion on my desktop. So I thought, you know, why not just show how I use Notion or how to use the Notion app on your phone as well because it's really useful to have it on your phone and have it on your tablet on the go because you're not always sitting at your computer but you still need to get those tasks accomplished and you still need to be able to find what you're looking for when you're managing a project. So let's go and get into it. I will show it on my phone and stick around because I may go ahead and do another video where I show you how to use it on your tablet. Okay, so here we are on my phone. So I do want to go ahead and show you the Notion app. I created a shortcut here on my phone that easily gets me to Notion. One other thing that I have is the widget. So there are different Notion widgets that you can have on your phone. So let me see if I go ahead and I can show you it here. You can just go ahead and search when you go to add an, a new widget. You search, Notion pops up and you have different ways that you can go ahead and or different widgets that you can choose. So you can have a page, you can have a short version of favorites, you can have a full version of favorites your recent, um, short and full as well. And what I have are my favorites, the ones that the pages that I visit most every day. So that's another cool thing there that you can have on Notion. So you can go ahead and easily access your pages. And if you don't have the Notion app yet, this is what it looks like. Um, of course, if you don't have it, you will go ahead and download it from the app store. If you don't have a Notion account yet, then you can go ahead and sign up for one. It's free. So let's go ahead and go in the app. So here we are on the app. This is my dashboard and I have pretty much everything that you can think of here, but let me go and just quickly show you around the app. Let's start with this bottom row here, the first three icons you see at the bottom. This one here to the right at the bottom is to start a new page. So if you wanted to quickly create a new page, you can just hit this button and then it will create a new page. You can go ahead and choose from template. When you select the templates, you can choose the ones that Notion already has listed here for you and there, there are plenty. Um, or you can just create a blank page and start from scratch. The icon here in the middle is for notifications. So if you click on it, you'll see all the notifications that you received from Notion, either if you have a team on there, if, so if someone is tagging you or their comments. So you can go ahead and see them there. And then this button here is a search button. So you can go ahead and search your entire Notion and it will it's just an easier way to find pages. Like say you don't know where um, you saved something or what page that you took some notes on, you can go and search. So let's go ahead and create a new page here and we'll choose a template and say we want to do meeting notes and we'll go ahead and use this template. So say we're in here, we want to go ahead and write notes. Okay, so we're in this page and we are going to use this page, but I did want to go ahead and show you some of the different menu items as well. So at the top right corner, you see these three dots. And this is just a way to access the settings of the page as well. So you can easily delete a page. Um, you can export the page so you can download it as a PDF or um, a CSV. So this is a, another way that you can access some actions that you can take with the page. So this share button here is just a way that you can share your page. As you know, with Notion, you can share your page as a template or you can just share it with people. An example is I had a trip recently to Pismo Beach for my birthday and here it is. I actually shared that page with my friends for them to, you know, see what we had planned, everything that was going on. So I shared it for them to not be able to actually make changes to the page, but to just read the notes. And then, so while we're here, I can share with you how to go back and forward um, using the Notion app. It's something that I actually shared in one of my recent videos, but to go back a page, you just swipe from the left all the way to the right and you go backwards. And to go forward, 
you swipe from the right all the way to the left. So the hamburger menu takes you to the side menu here where you can see all of your pages. Typically I have just my favorites showing, but this is an easy way to access your pages and what's in there. Like, so let's say for my 2021 content calendar, I hit the hamburger menu, it will show me all of the pages I have within there and I can easily access the page like this. Let's go back. So in this hamburger menu, besides just seeing all of your pages, you can access your notifications there and settings, and you can go ahead and access a few other things. Like if you needed help, you can access the help and feedback there. Okay, now moving into the formatting toolbar, which is the toolbar that you see at the bottom there. And this has been recently updated by Notion and it looks great. So I'll just go over a few things there. Um, this is what you will use for taking your notes and writing in your pages and creating different blocks so the first one the plus sign is to add a new block and a new block could be text it could be a new page a to-do list you know a new heading so this is just creating your page so the different things that you can add so it first starts with the basic block so these are just the simple blocks that you can use and then it has the databases so if you wanted to put a calendar in there like how you saw I had a calendar in my content calendar you can either have it inline or make it the full page. I usually like to have mine inline because I like to also have notes on that page above or below the calendar. Uh, you can add media and then you can embed different items like videos, uh, documents from your Google Drive and a whole bunch of other things. So the next one on the toolbar is this turn into and what that does is say if I added a new block and it was text and I just, you know, say new page and now it's text but I can actually go into this button and turn it into heading one, or I can turn it into a page. So now I can actually open that page and write stuff in there. And then you see there, that is a, now my text has been turned into a new page. You see um, three dots pop up at the right there. You can use that to make changes to this page as well. So right there, you can delete it, you can duplicate it, you can turn it into, or you can insert a new block below and you can move it to a different page. So let's go ahead and turn that back into, let's turn it into heading two. So now that's no longer a page. So back to this toolbar, they make it pretty simple. So some of the things that you would be able to find in where you would add a new block are here. So this one is to add an image. You can either take a photo or you can upload a photo from your photo library. So from your phone, or you can browse some stock photos that are available. So the next one is this at symbol where you can actually mention people. You can mention pages in here just as a quick reference. And then you have comments here. So if you wanted to actually add a comment to this page, that's just a quick way to access it. And then next to that, say you did write text in here. Now you can easily format the text. So you can come here. So say you wanted to make this bold. You can just go ahead and quickly do that here. If you wanted to change the color, you can change the color here. You can even change the background, the highlighting. So say you want to highlight it orange. So you have all that access there. It just makes it really quick and easy to edit your text or your notes. And then it gives you the option to comment here and to add links and much more. So we'll just go back and say you wanted to delete this block. You can just go and hit the trash can and then it would delete it. Um, you also have the undo button so you can hit undo. See how that came back. You can redo, which will delete it. So that's what those buttons are. And then just this is another way to quickly format the color. So instead of actually going into this first formatting option, you can easily do it here. Those three dots that I mentioned that originally was next to the actual block, you can access it here as well. So these buttons here is if you wanted to move it, move this block down or up. See, I moved it up and then I moved it down. So another thing that didn't pop up, but will pop up, say you're at the beginning of a block and you, you know, type what you need to type. You can actually indent or you can go back. So this last one here is to lower the keyboard. So if you don't want to see the keyboard, you can just easily click that, lower it. That's what that one is there. So that's mainly the Notion app. It's really easy to use. The main thing I would say is this hamburger menu will always take you back to where you can see your um, sidebar of your pages so you can easily navigate. You also have the breadcrumbs at the top. So if you wanted to just go back here, you can do that. And yeah, it's pretty simple to use. Main thing is you just need to get in there and play around. The more you use it, the more you will learn. So just to show you, the page we created was this 
meeting notes page. The same way how you can move blocks on Notion while using it on your computer, you can do it on the app as well. So say I wanted to move this meeting notes into my main dashboard. I can just hold it down and drag it wherever I want to drag it. Let's say we want to have it below photo shoots. So now when I go to my dashboard and I have, I see my content marketing, I see meeting notes there. When I'm in meeting notes, you'll see the breadcrumbs at the top. You'll see it's under my life, which is what I, I call my dashboard. If I wanted to move this up even here, I can do it like this, or I can add it into a page. Once you get into Notion, you just play around. Very similar. If you know how to use it on your desktop, then it's pretty similar to use it on your phone as well. It just takes a little bit of practice. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a great deal here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stick around and I will catch you next time. Bye.